Um, I, I was here to talk about the Saudi role within the Bahraini uh, revolution that's been going on for the last three years and uh, the kind of issues that have been um, uh, that have been happening with regards to that. Uh, and the issue with regards to Saudi Arabia has been the fact that uh, it has invaded Bahrain um, and invaded the territorial integrity of Bahrain at, uh, at the invitation of the Bahraini government. And the Bahraini government uh, did not want the people who were protesting peacefully to continue to do so. And the Saudis also did not want that to actually happen and they were prepared to come in with an army to suppress it. Um, and the British government uh, said nothing. Uh, the American government said nothing about what had actually happened in terms of that. Uh, we, when we look at that in, in terms of comparing it with how they've reacted to the situation in Ukraine, where people in Ukraine have actually invited uh, r the Russians in, the British government, the American government have talked about punitive actions being taken against them, they've talked about sanctions being done. Um, while um, in Saudi Arabia it seems that they, the British government um, and the American government allow, gives it carte blanche and one cannot help but feel that um, uh, the Saudi Arabians are being encouraged to, uh, to use uh, whatever measures that they can actually do, uh, use uh, to make sure that this Bahraini uh, revolution is not successful. Um, Saudi Arabia, is, within its own country, has got 30,000 political prisoners, um, the vast majority of them who are uh, Sunni Wahhabi, and it is uh, something sometimes that is being used to promote the idea that actually Saudi Arabia is uh, promoting some kind of Wahhabism or Salafism and I think we need to keep this in context that why would they have so many prisoners from that background if that was the case. The real issue is that they're using this tool of sectarianism to hide the injustices that they're actually carrying out and we need to make sure that those kind of things are recognized and the Saudi Arabians aren't allowed to get away with this and this tool of divide and rule that is being um, implemented within the Muslim um, uh, world in general and since we're here to talk about Bahrain in particular that this is not something that is allowed to be um, successful.